Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who catches this video. I hope you will be our brother or sister in Christ soon, if you're not already. Now, for those of you who still refuse to believe that the mainstream media is lying to you, you have got to watch this video. Now, part of it, I think I already shared, or if I didn't, I should have. But Dana Ashley has gotten people to send her many snippets, little short videos of hospitals all over the world, even Germany. This guy goes actually in a hospital and the nurses are admitting, this is all over exaggerated. We don't understand why they're telling what they are on the news. Of course, you have to read you know, they're talking in German, so you have to read closed caption or whatever you call it, titles. But in the, most of them's from America. They're from uh, Hawaii, uh, California, I believe. There's new, a lot in New York City, because that's the epicenter after all. Uh, seems like there was another state, but I don't remember for sure. But this is worth your time, and it's only 13 minutes. Now, if this doesn't Oh, oh, should I tell you the kicker? I will, and you watch it to see for yourself. One of the hospitals is totally empty of people, but on the news, there's people. There's a sign that says, hospital drill in progress. So what do they do? They get some employees to put some masks on and get in line and make it look like there's a whole lot of people waiting to be tested. But when these people doing their reporting show up, there's nobody. Nobody. It's very interesting indeed. This pandemic is a hoax. If you know somebody that's sick, they've got the flu. They have H1N1. That is what's going around. So, yes, people are catching that somehow, however that happens. And I'm going to be doing some investigating of my own about the video I put up where the man seems to have really good reason to say viruses are not even contagious. They've done testing. But yeah, all the mainstream media, AMA, CDC, NIH, all the top medical scientific people tell you, oh yes, this is highly contagious and you need a vaccination to keep from getting it. Mm -hmm. More metal in your body. Are you going to take it? I pray you do not. The Lord has put out a message through somebody, I don't know if I shared that or not. He, Jesus said, do not take it. Do not take the vaccine. Why? It's not the mark of the beast. It's probably loaded with metals. Just don't take it. You should not take the flu shot ever again. Now, this thing about viruses not being contagious or actually causing the illness. I mean, I know they did the testing, like they when the horses had whatever it is horses get, that's like a flu. They put the bag over the horse's head, it sneezed. They put the bag over the next horse's head. He wore it a while. He never got sick. So are viruses contagious or not? Or did this horse get a vaccine, this one did not. Did they, they didn't tell that, did they? Don't they all get a vaccine? Maybe we each absorb them differently. And there are ways to actually, uh, what's the word? It's it, it means to cleanse. You, you, you eat certain things, you take in certain herbs. Um, to cleanse your body of those metals. And I can't remember the word, but it means to cleanse. Okay. I'm going to end this here. I'll put the link in the description box. For those of you who cannot see the links, 
Let me, it's Dana Ashley. And this is uh, put up March 31st. And it says, more good news? Question mark. Citizen reporters go and do what the media won't. And I have the feeling from the way it starts and something she said or in the middle, this is probably just a little portion of something that's up on Patreon, her Patreon channel. So anyway, um, I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this so it'll go up because y'all need to know this is they're lying. You can stop fearing. Stop fearing. Anybody share this with anybody you know. Who is like, oh, you can't go out. Oh, be careful. You make sure you wear a mask and gloves. And, oh, don't touch anything. And don't get near anybody. You know, when they're sending their husband out to the grocery store. Because they won't go. You might want to show them this one. And help allay their fears. Okay? Alright, so I plead the blood of Jesus over it over myself, my computer, my internet connection, which came up fine today, by the way. I shut it off last night. I sh turned it on this morning. It's working just fine. Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections too. And may no weapons formed against us prosper. I want to try to remember to add that. May no weapons formed against us prosper. And if I don't, if I don't remember, please don't say something. <laughs> or you can remind me. It's okay, you can remind me. Because I want to do that. I want us all to stay protected under the blood of the Lamb. And, and declare it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Whether it's a man-made bioweapon or... Uh, any other EMF, ELF, uh, extra low frequency, apparently that's dangerous, microwaves, 5G, whatever. May no weapon formed against us prosper. All right, with that I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.